listeners and subscribers hope all is well so we talked about this right uh we talked about briefly kind of how new zealand's uh gun laws are now going to change but that's not the only thing that's going to change and trust me this conversation is global now uh as soon as this thing happened the the whole thing changed right and now the the fact that this has happened it's you know an excuse to bring up old things like you know sandy hook and and really compound the issue to to not only try to spur policies and you know change laws but also there's the there's the wedge there's the perfect opportunity to put people against each other right so not only are their gun laws changing but apparently we have new zealand internet service providers are blocking sites that do not remove christ church shooting okay and they're talking about 4chan, 8chan, and LiveLeak. They've all been blocked. And it talks about here, following the Christchurch shooting last week, internet service providers in New Zealand are blocking access to websites that do not respond or refuse to comply to request to remove uploads of the shooter's original live stream. According to Bleeping Computer, sites like 4chan, 8chan, LiveLeak, and the file uh, sharing site uh, Mega have all been pulled by internet service providers like Vodafone, Spark, and Focus. The internet service providers appear to be blocking access at the DNS site level, uh, at the DNS level to sites that do not respond to the takedown requests, but it's unclear how effective the blocks will be. Like most web level blocks, the restrictions are easy to circumvent through the use of virtual private networks or alternative uh, DNS settings. Okay, Mir Kashik, external communication advisor for Vodafone in New Zealand, told Bleepy Computer where material is identified, the site is temporarily blocked, and the site is notified requesting they remove the material. Websites like Facebook and YouTube don't appear to have been taken down by the internet service providers, but re-uploads of the shooter's video are still circulating on those platforms. Over the weekend, Facebook said it had removed over 1.5 million videos of the attack. YouTube said it had removed an unprecedented volume of videos of the shooting. Companies are facing new questions on content moderation following the New Zealand attack. Companies, so this is global, right? Like I said, we go from you know YouTube, Facebook, uh, that's stuff that's all across the pond, and that transcends just what's happening uh, in New Zealand. Uh, that means it's going to impact what happens here as well. Now it says, um, other broadcasters and platforms like Sky New Zealand and Valve have been removing content surrounding the tragedy as well. Okay, after Sky News Australia aired clips from the shooter's video, Sky New Zealand took its sister broadcaster off the air. Valve has removed over 100 tributes to the shooter from the profiles of Steam users. All right. And uh, this here we have from Bleeping Computer, uh, you have the comment section down here and people saying all different kinds of things about this. But really, if you this is what the article we were just reading is talking about. So I'll leave a link to the description below for this as well. But this has sparked discussion uh, everywhere. And, you know, again, it's not just places in New Zealand that are impacted. The discussion has reverber has reverberated here in the United States. And really, it, it's. It's quite telling to see these things happen in tandem uh, with the United States and, uh, you know, New Zealand. Things that have already happened over there with Australia where they're, you know, limiting guns. And uh, I'm telling you, it, it, everywhere it seems to be closing in, the, 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 the powers that be are really ramping up this agenda. It's almost like they, uh, they're getting ready to spring something on the people and the people are completely unaware, which is why I think the governments have been uh, preparing for the continuity of government and the, uh, in the event of a disaster of some kind. Who knows if it's an economic collapse, if it's some kind of nuclear war, I couldn't say. But all I know is they're getting ready for something and the signs are there. These are red flags, all right? These are red flags. There was a man here arrested in Arizona for threatening a mosque. Okay, and people are wondering if this is going to spark copycat attacks, right? Uh, the media is able to spin their narratives from this, and no matter what happened over there or how it happened, they are able to make sure uh, the people are responding appropriately when it, when it comes to policy. They're going to first put a bunch of narratives out there for people to, you know, talk about and, and stimulate that kind of debate. So when it comes time for policy and reform, it'll lubricate the transition and it'll make it easier. OK, that's what we're looking at. That's what's going to happen here. And again, this stuff isn't just here in America. It's not just limited to New Zealand. This stuff is going this stuff is going global. And this is an example of it. Anyway, California Carter signing off.